Hey there guys, we're going to be going to the Grace of Lightning trial on Global and we're going to be trying to do an all mission clear and we're going to once again use Ibarra for our first clear because she's a pretty good unit for these trial fights. Um, so we're going to be using Sakura and Sylvie for Thunder Support, Ash for Machine Killer, Kaito for Overall Breaking, and then Ibarra for Dealing Our Damage. Now this one isn't too bad as long as you've got some decent units, but it does have quite a few irritating mechanics you got to deal with, and I'll explain them as we go. So to start off, the first fight, we're going to start Ash in the base form, then go to the shift for the LB damage, Machine Killer, etc. We're going to use Sylvie to do... Defense, uh, Compassionate, and let's do Bolt Egg. Let's have Secura on this turn. We'll do a big Amplify on my Ibarra. We don't need Imbue. Let's do Shelga and Burst. And then Kaito will do the Shift at LB to break. And we're going to use the Ibarras to just focus on turn one. So we're going to double bolting and focus. Double bolt bolting and focus. And we're gonna kill this guy on turn two. And let's go ahead and deal some damage here. Oh, I I'm probably gonna break the chain. Yeah, I chained during Extreme Nova. Whoops. Eh, whatever, it didn't really matter. Okay, yeah, this first fight is very, very simple, so it's not really gonna be a problem. Okay, so we miraged all the damage for the most part. All right, now we're going to use Secure to put up that Imperil field before we go to the next fight. So give us just a sec. We can have Sylvie go ahead and shift here and do her shift at LB. Let's have Secure put up that Thunder field. Let's have Ash go back to the base form so we auto cover. And then we, on next fight that is, we'll triple bolting. We'll have triple bolting from Kaito. And we'll do the shift at LB of the Ibarras. And this should be the end of the first boss. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big damage. Okay, so first boss handled two turns out of our 20 allowed. Let's go to the next fight. Okay, so this one is one of the more irritating. There's a lot of just spells, counterattacks, etc, etc. But, once again, we're going to deal with it. So we're going to start Ash in the base form for the auto cover, go to the shift, and again use the shifted LB. Now we are getting dispelled on turn one, but that's okay. So Sylvie is going to start her big amplify ramp up. We're going to defense and we're going to clever paladin. We'll have Secura do true thunderstone, shelga, and burst. Kaito will shift at LB. We will, whoops, base form LB, the two Ibarras. So shift at LB, Kaito, and then base form LB of Ibarras. And we'll deal some damage here. So we are getting dispelled on our, our party on this turn. Unless we push the boss below 75, which we actually did. I think the boss is actually not going to dispel us because of the threshold. That's okay, too. That's okay, too. So we're going to get um, stopped instead. Oh no, we got dispelled. <laughs> we got dispelled. Um, and the boss dispelled our stop. So normally the stop would um, happen that turn and we'd use the base form compassionate with Sylvie. But because the boss dispelled our stop for us, whatever, we'll just use the shift that will be of Sylvie. So we did get dispelled, like I mentioned. We need all the buffs again. So we're going to re-imbue. We will Shelga, and we will Protectga. Let's have Ash go to the base form, where we'll cover Shelga and kind of whatever. Remember, we got dispelled here. Kaito will go to the base form and do Machine Killer. And we'll use the Ibarras to... Bolting, Bolting, Bolting. And again. Now, we might actually lose Secura. I kind of I kind of noticed that she is quite low in health right now. Oh no, we got a barrier. We should be fine. We should be fine. Because the boss is going to counterattack. Oh no, Secura is no problem. Barrier's got us. Okay. Oh, there's the stop again. Isn't that fun? Okay, so once again, a stop. So we'll just use Sylvie. So Sylvie will go to the base form and we will cure that stop. Um, let's do this twice for the healing. 
And really nothing else matters. Honestly, we can just do it three times to heal the party. Because we are basically done. So we're going to shift the LB these two. Kaito will just chain. Secura will just chain. And we'll use Ash to... Oh, no, Ash's got to stay in the base form, doesn't she? She does. So we'll just, you know, guard her. And that should be the end of this boss. Boom. Handled. Okay. So, easy enough. Now we go to the final fight, which has the Mighty Guard. Now, well, I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. Okay, so this boss also has quite a few dispels going on during the fight. Um, but again, we're going to deal with it, so whatever. So, we're going to be bursting on turn 5. So, we're going to start Kaito. Well, actually, before, before we do anything, we start Ash in the base form, go to the shift, shift to the LB for the killer and all that. Secura will do nothing yet. Sylvie will do defense, bolt egg, and immunity buff. Secura will do Shelga, Protectica, and Burst. And then we're going to do the base form LB of the Ibaras. Now, the boss on turn one will gain Mighty Guard. But for right now, the boss has no Mighty Guard. So here we go, a little bit of damage. Not a ton of damage, but the real damage is going to be coming on turn 5. Okay, here goes Mighty Guard, and then some death and all that. Make sure your party is immune to death. Okay, now, I could use Kaito to get rid of the Mighty Guard. I could get rid of the Mighty Guard right here. Um, and I think I will do it. Now, the reason I'm kind of hesitant we do not want to push the boss below 50%. And if you remove the Mighty Guard and do like really hardcore damage, you could push him below 50. We actually don't want that. But I'm going to just be careful. So I'm going I'm to remove Mighty Guard anyway and then do whatever. So the Mighty Guard is gone, but the mitigation is not gone. That is important to note. Only the defense and spirit buff, which is a really big one. But the boss is still mitigating. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and do triple, and we are not going to focus. Keep that in mind. I don't want to deal too much damage. I'm intentionally, you know, doing less damage here by not using focus and all that kind of stuff. Let's go to the base form with Ash before we do anything. We'll cover Shelga and whatever. Um, let's have Sylvie do her shifted LB. Let's have Secure just refresh that field. And we'll go ahead and deal some damage here. Not a ton of damage, but the boss is still mitigating. Which is fine. Which is fine. Okay, now this turn, the boss is going to cure his own debuffs. Keep that in mind. So, what we're going to do to deal with it, first of all, Sylvie is going to now do her Amplifies. We can get a big burst on turn, turn four. Um, five. I'm sorry, turn five. So we're going to do that, and we're going to just double Clever to fill LB Gauge. Let's have Ash do cover, magic break, and honestly, let's do cover, attack, and magic break. Let's have Secura do a burst, imbue, and status immunity, whatever. Um, let's have Kaito do the shift at LB, and we're going to do the base form LB of these two to reapply that big katana in peril. And again, we don't want to push below 50. So, oh, this is, this is dangerous. No, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, that's fine. So, some attacks, no big deal. Oh, the boss is healing. What a jerk face. What a total jerk face. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, we're going to do the real burst next turn, because next turn, the boss's Mighty Guard is gone. And also, we're going to have that 100 Amplify. So, we're going to use Kaito to just triple bolt in here. Let's use the Ibaris to shift, and now we're going to use that Focus ability. So, we're going to this, this, and bolt in, with the Focus as the last action. And before I do that, let me think. Let's have Ash go to the shift form. And just to confirm, I wasn't dispelled or anything, because I'm not entirely sure what turns the dispels happen. 
Uh, no, we're obviously not dispelled. So we'll do a big machine killer on Ibarra. Let's have Sylvie do some clevers to fill LB gauge. Uh, Secura, just in case we don't finish the boss, we'll start and amplify on mine. Um, Shelga and burst, and let's go ahead and deal some damage here. Okay, and now the Mighty Guard will be gone on turn 5, 100 Amplify, etc. So we should pretty pretty simply kill the boss on this turn. Okay, here we go. So, wait for all the auto-casting. So, just looking, the boss is still fully broken. Um, we've got killers and all. Uh, we don't have a good killer on the friends. We'll go ahead and do LB with you. Let's have Kaito LB, Secure can just support chain, and Sylvie can do her shifted LB for more modifiers. And that should be the end of the boss. Boom, handle done. Ten turns in total. Not too bad, so I'll show you the team's gear. So Secure, honestly, the gear is irrelevant. Status immunity is all that... I'm sorry, not status immunity. Um, death immunity is all that matters. I gave her some Esperfill and Extreme Nova Frames and just mana reduction, honestly, who cares. Um, shift form identical, just a little bit of bulk and some mana reduction and death immunity. Whole party's death immune. Sylvie is death immune, uh, counters for some bonus healing, whatever. Some support chaining, honestly, just bulk, hmm, whatever. Um, and someone's passive provoking, I don't, even, I don't even know who's passive provoking. Probably Kaito, I, <laughs> some, someone is. Uh, Ash in both forms is using some resistance, status immunity, death immunity. Um, there it is. Just, you know, whatever. Just bulk. Like, this this fight is not really bad at this party. Ash is very strong because uh, she's, like, got 75 um, or 85 machine mitigation. 85. We actually we never even used that. So, actually, not even important. We didn't even, we didn't even, didn't even use the machine mitigation. Um, Kaito, Breaker. Uh, he's not provo- Who's our provoker? Is, is Ash provoking? You know, I don't even know who's provoking in this party. I don't see anyone with provoke. Did I just not gear anyone with provoke? I built this team like a week ago. So, it looks like no one's provoking. Or I'm just, I'm just com completely overlooking something. I don't know. Well, whatever. There's the, there's the gear on Kaito. And then Ibarra, death immunity, LB damage versus machines. There it is. Some, um... Cool smile for mine. Uh, friend, same thing pretty much. There it is. Um, you know, a general card, but it's fine. And we're capped and everything. And there was our all mission clear on Grace of Lightning. Really not too bad. Just don't push the boss below 50 um, before turn 5 on uh, on the final boss. Otherwise, the boss will get Mighty Guard a second time and you, 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 feel, you feel real silly if that happens. Um, and there it is. Uh, you know, cool smile card is good for these quick OTK clears or the quick clears. Um, if you're not you, if you're not doing a quick clear, then cool smile is not as good. But there it is. Uh, but okay. Now it is time for me to go work on some other stuff. So I will see you guys in just a few. Later.